Okay, now let's cover some dynamics. This piston stroke can also be applied at different heights. And this is a key concept in, in all playing is uh, people hear what they see. So if you play forte here, let's say you play mezzo forte here and you help convince people that you're being softer when you play a lower height. So what we do not do is play piano from up here. We play piano from an appropriate height like right there. And we let the physics take care of it. If there's less space to move, the, your stroke will be quieter. So you could try octaves at mezzo forte. The thing is, in the activity, if you're doing marching arts, what happens is groups will maximize the volume they can achieve at that low height for clarity reasons. They'll play like this. I'm basically playing as hard as I can from six inches. And you can see I'm using a very fast velocity. I take, and that's just to maximize my potential again. Then I take that same approach down to a piano height, which is like, you know, pianissimo is like an inch. And I try to replicate that. When I do that, it's a, it's a fairly consistent dynamic. Um, it helps homogenize the playing, so everything's kind of all the same volume. I think groups now, thanks to amplification, tend to play a little lighter approach. Um, but the backbone of any program is still being able to play with that thwack um, from a low height. If you're struggling with the low height thing, um, the three inch idea, lots of people do. Make sure you can do it at three inches. If you're struggling with that, think of a knock. And think of the rubber pencil trick where you kind of go like that and it looks all wiggly. Also, I kind of flop through the fingers. I feel the mallet in the fingers when I do that. 